Hi, my name is David Halsey. I'm an artist producer from New York, and this is how I made an official remix for Slater's song, Mine. Back in 2018, I did my first ever studio sessions with an up-and-coming artist named Slater. Now, we made a few demos together, got into the studio, but nothing really stuck. However, she was such a big fan of my music that she gave me the opportunity to remix her song, Mine, which came out on Big Beat Records. Today, I'm gonna show you how I took old-school R&B samples and flipped them into a futuristic pop remix. The first thing you hear is a song White Elephant from the group Cosmic Replicant. I took this section of the track and pitched it up by one. And then added some granular synthesis, some chorus to spread it, some EQ and compression. The next thing you hear is AHA's classic song Take On Me. Paul stretch to give it some atmosphere. I added a gate to it and some other effects like filter and reverb to get it. Now I had all this atmosphere, but I really needed a chord or something to kind of get the progression going. So I went into Massive, got one of their E pianos and made these chords. Lastly, I took this little bell just to, you know, kind of have it progress a little further. So all together. So for the chorus of this drop, I was really wanting to do something that involves sampling. At the time, I was listening to a song by Monica, Before You Walk Out of My Life. Oh, well, I Now in that song, I was really into the sticky drums and the synth work, so I cut it up into this. Put some filtering on to get rid of that low end bass. Some delay for widening. Some compression just to bring it out a little bit more. And a little bit more compression to side chain. I then had to, you know, get some texture in there. So at the time I had a mono machine and I recorded some bleep bloopy type sounds. And lastly, I put in these chords that followed the same progression from earlier, but with more of a saw sound. And it's also from Massive. All together. So to kick off the drums, it starts with a simple hat and snap progression that you hear in the verses. It gets more complex when we head into the chorus where a snare is introduced. I also put in this very gummy kick. To give it more flavor, I added a few more elements. So first you hear this Timbaland-esque mouth click kind of percussion. I then have this sort of cowbell progression come in during the second half. And then lastly, this little hat roll that kind of plays throughout. All together. So this bass has a lot of different layers. Let's get into them. First we have this acid bass, this buzzy bass, this electric slap bass, this bright polysynth bass. And then underneath all of that, we have this sub. With the bass and everything together, it sounds like this. If 
My favorite part of the structure is how I transition from the ambient verses into the very abrasive drops. To achieve this, I sampled this Norwegian performance artist, Maya Rathke, and if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pitched up her song No Ecliptical Strainers by Five. And then with that, I took this clap and I warped it and I got this very weird abrasive moment. So all together with the song. And that's how I made my official remix for Slater. My advice to anyone watching would be to check out music made 10, 20, 30 years ago, see what they were doing and try to incorporate that into your own music. I did that for this remix and I would say it helped tremendously. Thanks for watching.